Okay, I think we're ready to go, guys. I'm hoping everything's sorted out. I did end up fixing a few things. One, I had to fix up my force pattern and my clips pattern, so we don't have any issues on that department. So in the future, we have something like we had last night, like a force recording. So um, I don't know how we're going to go tonight. I'm not feeling as bad as yesterday, just a bit more tired. Uh, so we're just going to get started, guys. we just got to sort that out. We'll get started on Instagram. And then go to Facebook, set the game up, and we're done. Uh, while we're doing that, while it's doing that, I should say, I can do this. Uh, let's get everything sorted out. Alright, I should not be showing that to you guys. Um, but it looks good, ready to go, guys. Just gonna start doing that. Alright, so blah 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 blah, the description, that's the name of the game, and that's about it. Visions of Manta. Sure, okay guys, we've got to get this game done. I'm sick of looking at it, I want to get it over and done with guys. Um, there is things I've been trying to do today, I was going to do more, but um, I'm not getting really tired because I went to bed really late. So I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do today, not even close. But I got some of it done, so. Alright, so I've got that sorted out. I'm just gonna go to Meta. Upload this to my Facebook. I forgot to push the button. I don't know why Facebook makes me push a button to publish it. I don't know why they have it. that's even a thing. Either way, it's done. Let's get started guys. Um, but today guys, we're going to continue, we're going to be smashing it out hard. Because yesterday's performance was pretty bad, even though I was unwell, and I probably will get unwell again later in the stream. So, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Alright, come on guys, let's get started. Um... Alright, we're ready to go. Is that ready on there? Put that up there, got the dock ready. Uh -huh. Instagram's open. I mean, I don't expect anything on Instagram because my channel's so small in there at the moment. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Alright, we're ready to go, guys. But back. Um, this is not the right account, guys. This is my personal one. I'm just going to get to the game. So, yeah, as I was saying, guys, this is my personal one because I was playing it earlier. I'm going through areas I need to do. Why is my troller not syncing up? Alright, I don't know what it is, but the controller never syncs up properly. Right, let's get to, yeah, we'll go straight here, guys. Save there, and we'll continue on our other account, guys. As you can see, I'm really, really, really above in this episode, in this one, guys. I'm level 57. Let's rest up. I'm way ahead. Um, I mean, this game's actually a lot longer than I expected. I probably could play it shorter if I was paying more attention to it. And not mucking around so much. But either way, guys, let's go to the title screen and get into the L game. Now, if I'm correct... We should be at the man tree and we should be able to get the ability to fly. Visions of mana. Um, hopefully tonight guys we won't feel too bad because hopefully there won't be any bloating. I just haven't eaten that big meal for a while, so I think that's caused the indigestion issue. Alright. No, I'm gonna reset that. All right, let's go. There should be a battle up ahead. Right here, I believe. Huh? The path stops here. Then how do we get to the mana goddess? Fairy could well have indicated the wrong route through the sanctuary. Her directions were vague at best. Do not doubt that you are on the correct path. 
sacred base. It's Vadiz, the White Dragon Princess. Golly, what are you doing here? You, your companions, and even I must face whatever future lies ahead of us, come what may. Don't worry. Vadiz is like Trent, an emissary of the goddess. Can Run. you tell us how to continue okay. on the path ahead? I am the keeper of the future. How you choose to proceed depends on the answers you provide. Oh, right. Answers. Yes, yes. There are many roads you may take, each with their own consequences. Do you understand? I think so. We have a choice to complete the pilgrimage, or not. But that decision is why we've come to the goddess. Please, let us speak to her and ask for her wisdom. After learning the truth, how will you feel? Will you accept it? The truth? Have you the strength to face the truth of this world? I do not know the depth of your conviction. What resides within your heart? Make me understand your intent. Your hearts will lead you along the path you see. Yeah, so it's a bit of story here, guys. So it's gonna be one of those. She wants actions, not words. We must convince her of our convictions. We won't want to miss none of the I'm not sure why it's enemies though. Alright, question time. When tilling the lands to bear fruit, one must bear in mind the myriad disasters they will face. Extinguish the bane that threatens to incinerate all. Oh, fire. fire. What should we do? Test your might. That is correct. All right, more red eyes. I don't know. Good. Actually, I think they're called something else, but I call them red eyes. Bring it on. I'm ready for anything. As many rounds as it takes. Though mortals yearn for the future, they are hindered by the shackles of their past. Expel the knowledge that leads mortals astray. That would be the darkness. The one to right. What? Give me a minute. Well done. Alright, got it. I don't even know if I need to fight this. Of course we're, we're a bit more stronger than we should be. Not really worth it. Not to mention these enemies are like the weakest type of enemies you're gonna run into. Alright. Final one? Yes, it's one more. Then we go all out! Hang over till it's over, Vadiz! As all of light, surely you can decipher the truth from that Shit. which is false. Discern your truth. And yours alone. Something that I can figure out? Uh, let me think. Test your might. I don't have the right one, guys. Uh, I didn't pay attention. God damn it. I should have. It's light. Ow. All right. One anyway. I won't be defeated. Alright, three, four, guys.
We haven't been matched to get to level 30, um, 6 or 35, sorry. Now it is clear to me. Those strong enough to break free of their fate. Long have we prayed for pilgrims such as yourselves. You may be the heroes that the goddess of mana has needed all along. That's good news for us. Go forth and create your own. So make it to the manage guys. Thank you, Vadiz. All right. Welcome to the Manitra. Uh -huh. Nice to see that this place hasn't changed. No monsters either. Looks just like it did back in Fadiel times. You have had a long journey, but the mana tree is just ahead. A long and laborious journey indeed. The Om's final destination. And yet, we aren't here to offer our souls like those that came before us. We need to meet with the goddess. Yep. Mother Coda, the Oms have arrived. Coda? Oh my god, it looks like huh? hell. I am the guardian of this sanctuary. There are humans living within the barrier? That's news to me. Living? No. I am but a strong will given form. Consider me like one of the spirits. To put it in terms you may understand, I am the first in the long legacy of Soul Guards. You passed Vidiz's trial admirably, Val. I should not be surprised given that you are of my own bloodline. You're my ancestor? If we assume that long ago, people from Tiania were chosen to stand guard over the Mana Goddess, and that practice has held over to this very day... Uh-huh. Then he is the origin of the Soul Guard tradition. Yes, he is, okay. My mission remains unchanged since I first accepted it. Protect the goddess of mana. Do you know where we can find her, Guardian Coda? We need to speak with the goddess as soon as possible. You may refer to me as simply Coda. Trent and Vidiz have relayed your current plight to me. Come. I will take you to the mana goddess. All right. One of my ancestors is here? In the sanctuary? Well, I can't keep him or the mana goddess waiting. Time to go. All right. Let's go do the tray, guys. Things are going to get interesting now. Take my jacket off, guys, and sweating like a pig. <sighs> Goddess of Mana. I'm Val, and these are my friends. We've come here to ask for a moment of your time before we offer our souls. I can't hear you, dude. Delafos has broken free of his seal and is going around the world setting the Benevidons loose. His only goal is to get his revenge on you, Goddess. Y y you have to do something. We have so many questions to ask about Delafos and Core Stones and my strange ability. All of it. It's a body of mine. Oh, I see someone Goddess? Like. I promise we're telling the truth. Please listen to us. We fully intend to sacrifice our souls when the time comes. But first, we have to protect the world from this danger.
Este Armentus. She cannot hear you. The goddess of mana is unreachable in her slumber. She has not once awakened since she first fell into this long, long sleep. Not a single source I have read has ever referenced that the goddess was in this state. No one has ever been allowed this deep within the sanctuary. Her condition is not known to any others. But Delophos is breathing down our necks. The goddess was our last hope. Coda? How did she end up like this? Vadiz believes that you can be trusted to make your own decisions. So, I will tell you. Tell you how this all came to be. The truth behind this world. Not a lot to sound like that. Alright, why does it make me fall in the ground? Um, Koda should have some answers at least. Yes, he does. There's more answers coming up. Fadiel, the world as it was once known in the distant past was made up of five realms the spirit realm, the mortal realm, the mystic realm, the ethereal realm, and the arboreal realm. I say many realms. The power once flowed freely through these places, and Fadiel knew only peace and prosperity. Something tells me humans are oh. mortals. Yep. In their greed, humans sought to use that power for warfare. That sounds like us. The flow of mana was disrupted, and the five realms became perilously unbalanced. The mortal realm consumed an enormous amount of mana, plunging the mystic realm, home to the Benevodons, into disarray. The divide right, between sense. the realms weakened to the point that all worlds merged into mm. one. When the mana dried up, the monsters unleashed their wrath. Looking for more mana, I'm guessing. The discord that had driven people to degrade the powers of mana ended, and their battle against the Benevodons began. The goddess wished to save the mortals from suffering at the hands of the Benevodons. So she asked Fairy, her emissary, to find Delaphos, name him her champion, and bequeath unto him the mana sword. Which she and did. As promised. He successfully subdued all eight Benevodons. However, he refused to return the Mana Sword and instead swore revenge against the goddess after the death of Cerulea. Yeah, that's what I thought, guys. Is that what changed Delopho so drastically? Of course, wouldn't it change you? Lost the person most dear to him. Sounds hey, rage. like Delophos couldn't come to terms with her passing. Indeed. Delafos saw no reason to care about a world bereft of the one he loved. So he turned against the man. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. She ended up using all her strength to preserve a corrupted world. With her power exhausted, the goddess then fell into a deep sleep. It was up to the guardian of the sanctuary, namely me, to stand against Delafos with the help of the elementals. It would be but trouble. It was not enough. We struck each other at the same time. Resulting in his stone imprisonment and my destruction. Only my will survived. Oh, okay. If only I had been stronger. Well, that explains what happened to you. So, Coda, Delafos, and I all carry the same pain within us. Hmm. That's kind of sad. Kind of sad. So you're the one responsible for that boulder by the entrance, huh, Koda? Yes, though he managed to break free regardless. <laughs> With the help of the elementals, I was able to divide Delafos's terrible power and seal it away with the Benevodons scattered across the land. That's good news. But I underestimated the strength of his hatred. His power was steeped in animosity which bled into the surrounding lands, creating horrible disasters in its wake. Eruptions will scorch the earth with fire from every fissure. The wind will rage and the winged fall flightless. 
pure waters will run foul and disease spread. Soil that once brought life turns all to dust and stone. Verdant lands will wither away and seeds will cease to sprout. The glaring light will obscure the boundaries of reality. Darkness will deepen, breeding monsters in its wake. The moon's hold over time will splinter, depriving all beings of logic. All right, that makes completely sense. Based on that, what people refer to as prophesied disasters are actually the curse of Delafus's power upon the land. Then, the source of these disasters was never the Benevadons at all. It was a curse brought about by a single man's folly from the very start. Strong emotions revitalize mana power. In addition, Delafus had access to the energy from the mana sword itself. The Elementals tried to stop Delafus' curse from running rampant. Their powers suppressed the worst effects from taking hold. Ah, so that's what we do these. Now combined, the flow of mana slowed to a trickle. Elementals couldn't maintain that balance indefinitely. And so, without Everybody. anything to check its dangerous powers, the effects of the curse spread throughout the entire world. Tortured by the curse of Delafos, mortals turned to the goddess for help and offered up sacrifices. That sounds right, guys. Sorry about that. Alms. I'm going to be a guess. Alms would travel pain, to actually. the mana tree and freely give up their souls, their life force, to the sleeping goddess. As I mentioned, strong emotions bring about mana power. With the souls from faithful alms, the flow of mana was rejuvenated for a time. Powers restored, the elementals could once again suppress the effects of the curse. But after four years, their stores of mana would once again run dry. But this is why we keep doing it. That's why the alms have to go to the mana tree to stop disaster from befalling our villages. At the end of their pilgrimage, I would change the alms into core stones to give to the goddess. Core stones? Wait, you can... Yes, Val. Your ability was passed down through my bloodline. Originally, it was used to return monsters to the flow of mana. Reintroducing life into the flow of mana was how Fadiel maintained balance. So then, I... What I did to Hina... It... Oh, Val... Uh, sooner or later, that fate was waiting for her in the end. Yes. As it waits for all alms who come to the mana tree. Your souls will be given to the goddess to protect the cycle of mana. Including the soul of the alm of earth that you possess. Liza's? This is all we can do until the mana goddess reawakens. Yeah, What's good that? luck on that. Got some bad news now. The barrier is under siege. What is going on? It's probably the Benevidarns. Looks like they're trying to break through. That might be ours. What is Delophos is doing? I really don't like the goddess tree, do they? What'll happen to the sanctuary? There is no need for alarm. The Nevadons hold great power. Not as great as the sanctuary itself. Yeah, they won't do nothing to it. They'll give up in a minute. There's no point fighting them because they won't. We can't beat all of them at once. We have to beat them one by one. They're retreating. Which is good, but we are going to beat them all, guys. And that's the mission. It's calm. <sighs> They're retreating. Oh. Good. There is no sign of the man himself. 
Perhaps Delafos intended this attack to serve as a diversion? Delafos and the Benevidons are still a threat to us all, just like in the past. Things aren't looking so good for the world if these monsters run free. If the goddess is unable to grant us aid, we must muster our own forces. It is our chance to fix the future. Our loved ones need protection. I'll do it alone if I have to. <laughs> We've already defeated three of these things. The remaining five will be a piece of cake. Yeah, trust me or not. Coda, we need time. I promise we will offer up our souls, but we have to take care of the world first. We will stop the rest of the Benevidons and Delafos before he hurts anyone else. I do not have the power to stop you either way. Do what you feel is right. The decision to fight should be left to the living. It is your duty, as protecting the Sanctuary is mine. I believe your group of alms has untold potential to rejuvenate the flow of mana. Good. Because we need to. More. more what? It is not important. What matters is that as long as Delafos has the mana sword, he will continue his assault on the Sanctuary, and the goddess kept safe within. Hmm. Then... We'll just have to reclaim the sword ourselves. It's the only way to keep disaster at bay. Returning the sword to its rightful place wouldn't hurt either. You should keep the core stone of the Alm of Earth. Abiding by the will of the Alms is important, after all. Coda is putting a lot of faith in you. I think you'll be able to handle the road ahead as well. Vadiz has also acknowledged their worthiness. It is time that I trusted in people once more. Though I cannot lend you my own power, I can at least release that of this little one. Ah, uh, yes. So now we can fly. <laughs> now we can fly around, guys, and get to areas much easier. There's not really new areas in the game that much, but there are a few areas. So yeah, now you can fly, guys. No more surfing for us. Oh, is that you? What happened to you? I do believe this is the sacred beast Flammy. Ramco must have been Flammy the entire time. Flammy has made many documented visits to our world, but I never dreamed I would be in her presence. Oh, I get it. Ramco is just another form of Flammy to begin with. Her wings are the fastest way to convey you to the Benevidons. Make haste, Alms. Thanks. All right, now we can flow around, guys. Oh my gosh, she likes jumping on people, doesn't she? Alright. Alright, guys, now we can fly around. enough to carry all of us all right so there's a few areas we're gonna go up so fast. remember that flammy's power can only fly you around for so long she'll revert back to her cup form when you land just use the flammy drum to summon her whenever you need to fly right Whoa. now then what's your plan of action if i may would you be so kind as All to right. return me to the show? She says it would be her pleasure. Then, to the Grazzo we go. I hate my body at this time of night. Now then, with Ramco's permission, shall we be off to Lagrazzo? Yes, we should. Must really like the sound of that drum. All right, let's get down to the ground, guys. We've got some side questing to do. We've got some side questing to collect. 
There's not a lot of side questing we can do. Um, some of it we won't be able to do until a bit later. As you know, guys, we're only just over level 30, which means we can do, we can probably get close to doing some um, high-level enemies. Bravo. Mm hmm. Now then. I will begin the process of compiling what I observed within the sanctuary for analysis. You're not going to help us with the Benevidons? I don't think so. Oh, it grieves me to say it, but I must decline. Though please keep in mind that I want a full report on your exploits. I will add it to my account of this historic situation we find ourselves in. I suppose he is the best suited. It's okay that you want to analyze your data, but please don't let the information that Koda entrusted you with turn into gossip. Of course. Not to worry. I take great pains to compile my notes in secrecy. If it isn't the head curator and the rest of the arms, you're safe. Oh, we were worried when we heard the Benevatons were attacking the manager. You know. I am as well as can be expected. Thanks to the Mana Goddess's barrier. Word of the Benevidon's revival has spread, I see. Have you determined where the monsters have appeared, perchance? Reports indicate that disaster is spreading to the lands that house the Benevidons. Besseroth, Benevidon of Wind, has been spotted in the Vale of Longrin. Oh, of course it has. And Tormarni, Benevidon of the Moon, near Etern. Dandum, Benevadon of Water, was seen outside of Ilistana. While the Benevadon of Wood, Florit, is stalking Verdius Burrow as we speak. Mm. Scribes have already been sent afield to collect what information they can. Curious. The Benevadon of Fire has not been accounted for. Is there no word of Bulky Bell? No reports out of the Tiania area as of yet. Our theory is that the Fire Benevadon still slumbers. No, it's not possible. We saw him. I see. I suppose that is good news. It seems you all have four Benevadons to take care no, of. That's not true, guys. We saw the we saw the fire one. I can feel it. The flow of mana power in each area has changed. You could start in any location, but time is of the essence. My word! An emissary of the goddess! What a singular wing shape! Would you mind if I sketched it? Um, I, I'm afraid I'm in a hurry. I won't blame you. We should get going too. Good luck, Ish. All right. Farewell. We will meet again soon, I'm sure. Of course, you am. We have no choice. All right. Let's, focus on Let's get back here. Monsters we know of. So, Val, what'll it be? Leave it to me. Well, first things first, we can do things that we don't need to do. Like side questing, guys. Side questing is always a good start. We get some experience, guys. We get some more levels up. We can basically have an easier time. So let's just go up to that area, talk to them, and then move out. I don't know what we're going to do. I can't remember these ones. I haven't done all my solo ones. I tend, to, I tend to leave them a bit behind, so I definitely need to try to catch up on them. But I was hoping to beat the game today, so... Uh... Alright, F, um... Where am I going to find it? This... No, I guess the game will tell me where I find it. Oh, not in this area, looks like. Okay, cool. This one up there. Um, guys, I'll have to go to the toilet in a few minutes. Not feeling as bad as yesterday, guys. Just a bit... Uh... Just a bit sore. Alright, let's get out of here. Um... Alright, let's follow that thing. So it tells me to go that way, so I've got to find a side quest thing and get out of here. I know we can fly anywhere at any time, guys. That's gonna save us a shitload of time. Um, once we get to a level about level 40, we should be able to do some of those level 50 enemies. They're not gonna be easy. Um, they will be time difficulty, but they will give us some quick levels.
Uh, let's go. Okay, so where are we going? We want to go to the side quest. So I don't want to do the main quest just yet. We've got the side questing out the way, guys. Got some experience, and then hopefully, um, we can do the main stuff a bit easier. Um, where's it taking me? Take me here, huh? The mines. I should have known. Oh, I'll land here and see what the game wants me to do. Hey guys, hoping to get another hour out tonight, I think. Now, where is this thing? I think it's underground. Alright, let's battle some enemies, even though they're not worth it. Alright. 500's not too bad. 700's better, I mean. Alright, so I don't know where we're gonna go, guys. It doesn't not tell me anything. Let's go and check this the thing. So, um. Oh, okay, yep, I know where we're gonna go. I know this one. I know this one inside out, guys. I know where they are. Don't worry. We got ya. Middle level, I think, is the one we need to go to. Not that hard to find. They're in this area, actually. I think it's this, this area. Yeah, this area. I just gotta figure out which one it's in. Obviously, not this area, because there's nothing there. Um, go this way. Can't remember which room it's in, but it's in one of these rooms. Well, better off battling these guys, since why not? Stronger with every battle. Yep, and we get more experience too, guys. Right, that's where we started from. Well, lots of work to do, guys. I mean, it would be nice if the body wasn't being a pain. Ah, there they are! There's three of them here and this. Alright, that's that. Well, oh, about a thousand. That's only 1100. That's good. Good, good, good. That's good. Alright. Let's head out. We've got two more to go, I think. I think we need five, don't we? Two more to go. Um, damn game. My thinking's faster than my hands, guys. Oh, it's gotta be this one here. It's the only one I have not been to. There should be two here, and that's it. Yep, two perfect. And this game does not randomly um, generate enemies. They're actually the same enemies every time. So these enemies will always be here, regardless. Hold on. I think I saw this in a book one time. Good. All right, we're done with him. Um, we've got a side. That's out the way, guys. Eh? Uh, pretty sure we got here. Yep. Okay. Now let's do this one. Oh yes, this one. I know where this one is. Okay. I'm trying to remember where the eyeballs are. I know where the um. That uh, shouldn't matter in a way. Yeah, I can't do it down here. I have to go up a bit. Let's use the meridian At the entrance, we should be able to get out. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, guys. Oh, no cats. That's interesting. I think in the future, guys, I might be drinking more water than this kind of stuff. I think it's time to get off this stuff, because I don't want to keep wasting money on it. Um, yes, we'll go here first. I know exactly where we're going, I think. Yep, I know where this is. That, what the hell? So small from up here. It feels a lot more spread out when you have to walk, huh? All right, guys. I already know where we're gonna go. In the middle. 
So I know the areas, guys, because we did. I only did this last night or yesterday. I think it was. It might be the day before. We're not that far behind when it comes to doing some of these side quests. So yeah, we've got to go up here, guys. There's three of them we need to beat. Um, there's some over there if we want to, but the ones we really want to beat are here. I think right there, guys. All three of them. Oh, I saw that coming, but I couldn't do much about it. Damn it! I can't paint by one thing, dude! Alright, I've set all three of them. Damn it! I need one more enemy. Right, okay, we've got all three of them, guys. That's all we need for that. Um, so the next one is... Yeah, so, eyeballs. Um, I think they're in the... Alright, let's lay out. Actually, before we do that, let's, uh, let's heal up. Also, before that... I know, there's a lot of before's, guys. I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna go down to this thing, herb. I'm going to put it on here and put it as a shortcut. Because that would have saved my last, guys. Now, let's get out of here. Um, we don't need to be here no more. Um, we, I keep forgetting I can just fly my way out. So that's good news, guys. We can move around easily. Um, it's not much harder to do. The only problem is this part here, guys. It takes forever to... I wish it would just get to the point and just not waste my time with animation, that kind of animation. It's not necessary. Aha! I've got to go over... Oh, over here. Okay, I've got to go here. Oh, I know. Yep, 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 yep. Just make sure we're in the right spot. Just right, just checking. All right, let's pack our asses near the door, guys. Let's throw some um, yeah, experience thing out so we can have some extra experience. Because we can do a lot of stuff here, guys, and probably get a lot of, a lot of stuff that I'm missing out the way. All right, so let's get that out the way. Um, oh wait, it's still active. Never mind. We'll leave it there. Carry on from here. Now, the first thing you gotta do, guys, is kill some enemies. Wipe out some enemies over here. Oh, okay, never mind. I must have already done it. There was a strong group of enemies, so. Alright, there's another one up there, which I can wait. Um, which one? We should go for that one right above, basically right above me. A bit of a run, but we'll get there. This should take long. Yeah. Ah, yeah, probably not worth battling, guys. Only, it's only about 300, 400, so... Not going to be worth battling too much. Not going to use the experience got on this, these group of mobs. They're not going to give me that much more. I'll give you something, though. Ah, uh, there we go. Level 35, so we're already good, guys. Well, level 35. So I'm going to that one where uh, just above me, basically. I can handle this alone. You know what? I might just turn on. That's it. It may not be useful, guys, but give me something to do. I'll give me some experience. Um, come on, let me have control. All right, are we running out? How many do we have left? Well, once that one's done, guys, we'll be um, using the other one. A 15% one, and then a 10% one. Until we run out. Once we run out, we'll be good. Alright, that's I already got that one. Never mind. Um, I was going to run up there, but I just realised I already got it. Oh. Alright, these guys are what we want. 
This shouldn't take long. Yeah, we have five seconds. Alright, so we need ten of them, so... That was a few of them there. Um, what's this one going on? Oh, I want to pass it. Better pick these two eyes up then. Ah, oh, give me a break. Alright, we'll go this way first. Enemies everywhere, guys, so we're probably going to end up getting this stuff done pretty quickly. Let's teach them a we need to press on. Actually, maybe we go that way first, because that looks like a um like a jumping type of area. Let's go. Well that's this as well, because why not? We need to collect these. Oh, I can't run up that, so that's stupid. And I can run behind it, so at least that's Aha, uh -huh, there is one here. I thought there was. Aha! One of these, and then after that we can go that way. Okay, so I've got a few things we're collecting. Okay, sue me. I'm better off getting this area done as much as possible, guys. Why not? Um, okay, we've got the same levels as us, so it's good. I'm going for the weakest enemy, they're going for the stronger enemy. Not holding back. All right, that should have wiped them out, or most of them anyway. Like I said, most of them. They weren't so tough. Let me see. Is this? Okay, a ramp of wood, that's good. Uh huh, we're going this way because there's something over here I want to collect. Now, there's only one area I can't really go, and that's up there. I don't have the levels for that yet. Now, saying that, we're very close to it though. Thanks for the pick me up. Once we hit level 45, 50, we can probably start doing them. I only want to go. Oh, wait, there's one right in front of me. Alright, let's make sure we've got all this stuff. Go this way. Thanks for the pick -me oh, hello, guys. Welcome back. Now, I don't even need to use my strong attack on these guys, they're not worth it. I guess this means I've improved. Well, it can't get any worse, I guess. Oh, a happy. Alright, let's go this way, guys. I think there's something down here. There it is. Time to shine. I hate how it does that. I can't just bring them out. Oh, beautiful lightning! Incoming. Incoming. All right, guys, we've got lightning outside. Oh, that's cool. Incoming. 
Incoming! Incoming! Hey yeah, guys, got some thunderstorms outside, look at that. Now I know why my cat's gone missing. Alright, that's kinda cool. Alright, stop mucking around. I'm gonna go back to that one over there, guys. We'll come right past it. So how do we get up there? So way up there we can go. Ooh, ooh, hello, hello, hello. This should be enough. Yep, I got them all great. Where am I? Okay. I'm going back this way, guys. I still missed something. Alright, back here again. Um, Take this. I know I'm collecting everything I can in this area while we're here. Most areas I've done already, but this one's not one of them. Alright, so, yeah, we're level 35. We should be getting close to the next level, actually. Alright, so what? This shouldn't take long. Now about five seconds flat. Take this! Quite a bit of lucre. Time for some new gear. Luda, huh? Is it called Luda? That's oh, a very weird name. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, now we can run back to the other side. Oh, let's run back to the near the beginning because there's some there I missed. Once we've done that, we can move up north. Let's use the marines for the pick me up. Collect what's left here, guys, and then we can. Yeah. We're right because that's. That's good news for us. Once we move, collect what we need to, guys. If we come back here again, we can just destroy everything. Like these guys, for example. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought that would happen. Um, I think there's a chest here. I uh, know nope, it's one of them. All right, that's done. Let's go this one. Rimming with power. So I'm guessing it's a chest, maybe. How many do I need? Okay, we've got 16 elemental things we've got to do, and four, I've got 19 chests. We're still missing a few, but not a lot. Um, these things will be useful though. No. Nope. How many of them do we have? We've got 36. That's not bad. Sorry guys, you gotta go. Alright, where are we gonna go now? Um we go back, turn around and talk to that green dot dude, and we'll move up and move it off. Ironically, guys, this is exactly where I am in my um, solo play playthrough. This area specifically. Not this stage in the story. We're way ahead. Hmm. So, yeah, got him, that stuff. Um, you there, would you kindly share that stew with me? Thanks a lot, oh, man. Smell foam. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I'm normally that red, guys, but my voice has been improving a lot. I haven't had real issues with it. So, ah, that hit the spot. Sorry about that. When I, in most, in my studies, I have this terrible habit of completely forgetting about eating, sleeping, and other stuff. But after a uh, little longer post cruise, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Now I can wrap up in my investigations of the rules. Thanks. I might have collapsed from exhaustion if you're not showing up. Okay. Oh. 
Let me give you something for your travels. So take this with you. I found this in the room, but it doesn't have any hysterical value. It's yours now, so I'm sure you put it at better use than me. That was a great new experience. Maybe throwing knives. Okay, that's not bad. Sorry, guys, my terrible rating skill. You can tell I barely read on this game. All right, so the next place I want to go to is over here. As you can probably see, there's a bit of areas we can explore. Where to next? Actually, before we do that, let's go in here and make sure there's nothing in here I missed. Because we are not stuffing up, guys. Actually, I just realized I'm looking. I'm putting my head way too far down. I should be, you know, keeping my back up and strong and all that. But the way I play sometimes, it. Be, yeah, there we go. Gotta get back to normal. All right, do we have anything in here we need to. Excuse me, we do. I'm glad I did come back. I missed her. Particularly this room. Hello, guys. Um. Yeah. Can't believe I missed that. That was uh, embarrassing, guys. There's two of these I missed. But this is why it's important to check everything, guys. Check it into play. Don't do what I used to do at the beginning of this. For many years, guys, I used to just play and then come back to everything, but I think it's best to do it while you're doing it. It took me 20 something years to work that out, but we've got there, or 30 years actually, but. Uh huh. That's weird! Usually you come into a place that will tell you where you can get. Oh, okay, something. Okay. No, that's not below. It's just that bit of collapse around. Okay. We've got to find a way down, which is probably this way. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go downwards. There's only like two places in the whole game where you use this. This is one of them. And there's another one in the desert area. Let's travel back to the start, guys. I think there's a, there's a few ways down, and one of them I went the wrong way. I think that's the one I went down, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks like the one I went down. That's not the one I want to go down. The other one's over here somewhere. Could be this one, I don't know. Ah, there it is! Obviously, it was this one. Alright, let's get out of here. That was the last one, guys. I just missed it. I'm glad we came back. Let's use the Meridian to travel. Alright. I'm glad the lightning and all that stopped out there. Lucky for us, it looks like it was just developing, so... Let's go. Um, yes, guys, I'm going to keep doing this until I run out, okay? And once I run out of stars, or cookies, or whatever they're called, um, move on to the 15 percenters. I want to make sure we're always getting as much experience as we can, guys. The quicker we get experience, the easier it is to do the bosses. That means I won't have to grind. If I did this earlier on in the game, I probably would be in a bad position now. Uh, that's where we're gonna go. Okay, just up ahead. You got some? Oh, pump, pump, pump.
All right, let's get going. The soul guard's resolve never sways. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, boss up there. And the other one's up there. The question is, how we're getting up there? I think our best bet is to go backwards. So we're going to go this way instead. But it looks like it. It's really close to. You know what, quite fast, I'll just run back and do it that way, guys. We go up the sides and then we'll come down and get it. Oh yeah, we're just doing some side mission, guys. And we're just doing this area as well. So I can get this area mostly out of the way. Or what about the ruins? The ruins are the only thing that would be a problem. Saying that, technically, guys, if it was around about... If the enemies are like 45 to 50, I probably would fight them, but they're not. They're a little bit higher than that. Once we get to about 40, then we probably could do some of them. Hey, we won't be able to do more. Alright, this one here. Power. And the other one's up power. there somewhere. Where are you? I know you Aha! Where are you supposed to be? What the hell do I need this here for? Take it away. Oh, okay. Grizzly. All right, it's kind of cool. Down we go. All right. So the last group of areas here, guys, is what in front of me. It's this area. Once we do this, guys, I won't have to do this area at all. Unless I've got side missions, of course. Then I'll have to come back. But other than that, I won't have to come exploring anymore. I won't have to do all that shit. Power of men. I'm brimming with power. Grant me power. Alright, this should be fun. This is going to be fun, guys. Hope you guys join yourselves tonight. Um... All right. This is kind of exciting. Well, where are That's the last one, I assume. No. Oh well. Okay. Technically, not the last one. But the last one we can do now. We can do. We'll get be able to do the others later. All right. Let's get out of here and fly back to the um the other city. I forgot its name already. Um, I forget. I always forget names, guys. I'm terrible at remembering them. All right. Let's just get there now, guys. Um. Oh Alright guys, what I might do is I'm gonna I'm planning to be on for another hour or two. So what I'm gonna do probably just gonna finish the recording the recording part of it and then resume it. So I know where we're up to, so I wanna make sure I do it like that. So you guys watching uh, on the recorded stuff on YouTube, yeah, this is where the episode ends.